is the basic V model. Here we can find the systems engineering contents, which we also will find on further views. So they are most important. Logical division of the system. So system levels. Logical system, uh, logical sequence instead of timeline and environmental level. Which engineering benefits are realized through these contents? Mastering of complexity. This is achieved with the logical division of a system. Supply of the successful system or system that works as expected in the environment. We have the environment level for this on the top of the V model. And clarity of the specific specificities of uh, engineering activities like iterations, evolutionary design and so on. We achieve these with logical sequence instead of timeline, so we can go back and forth in the model. What life cycle processes of ISO 15288 do we need to perform to make these benefits possible? I would mention three of them. Its architecture definition defines the system levels, taking into account the needs of potential stakeholders, and two processes with which the environment of a system can be considered business or mission analysis, and definition of stakeholder needs and requirements. Outputs of these last two processes do not define the system of interest, but in what environment the system will live. What competencies do people need to carry out these processes? I mention only a few of them. The rest can be seen on the slide. System thinking systems architecting, system modeling and analysis, requirements definition, and critical thinking. Relations between these processes and these competencies comes from systems engineering competency framework of INCOSI. What artifacts or activity results can help us to realize these benefits? Let us take aviation industry as an example. In the industry, it is normal to have aircraft architecture right at the beginning of the project. On the right side, you can see the logical structure of a generic aircraft. This structure is clear to all key st stakeholders, the developers, the suppliers, the pilots, the factory staff. System levels in the V model represent exactly these things from real world. At the highest level, we can see aircraft system after system environment in our previous model. On the next level we can find parts of this aircraft system. So aircraft itself, training, support, facilities and personnel. At the next level below aircraft we can find further subdivision of, subs of the system aircraft. Environmental segment, avionics, electrical segment, interior segments and so on. At the level below, below the environmental segment, we can find further subsystems like air conditioning, like pressure, like ice and rain protection, and so on. These structures are defined within specific projects based on the ATA100 building blocks, what is interesting. That is not a must, but that's what is normally done, because at the ATA100 standard, which is, by the way, an aircraft designer independent, and the building blocks there are clear to all industry, to all companies involved in the industry.